Greetings commanders, my name is Eagle and in today's video we are bringing you a comprehensive guide for Lilith. So in this guide we're gonna cover her skills, her skill prioritization, what are her, role, her roles in the game, in addition to her talents and best natural pairings. So if you like these types of videos where we give you comprehensive guides and tips about officers in Kiss of War, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more Kiss of War content. And let's get right into it. So as you can see, Lilith is the top powered officer that I currently have. I absolutely love her. I have her maxed out training almost maxing out her level uh, nine levels ahead until maximum levels as well. And basically she is a very well-rounded um, officer that has three skins. These skins haven't been unlocked yet in our uh, zone right over here, but she is an anti-tank general skill officer that specializes in field battles and knocking out and dealing like huge amounts of damages with her active skill over here. So if we were to go through her skills really quick, her active skill does like a huge amount of damage, however, reduces the troops defense of her own troops by 15% for three rounds, which is kind of a bummer, but hey, I mean, the, the active damage uh, multiplier is insane. Uh, moving on to her second troop, what it does is actually increases the tank destroyer health by 30%, which is a huge amount, in addition to increasing their speed by 18%, which is pretty cool as well. And her third ability is a passive skill that uh, gives you 50, uh, like 25 more percent skill damage dealt in addition to 5% more damage dealt to tanks. So you'll be dealing more, like 5% more damage to tanks. As you know, anti-tanks specialize versus like against tanks. So when you are attacking tanks using anti-tanks, you would be naturally dealing more damage due to the uh, troop uh, like prioritization, like which troops actually is stronger than the other ones. And this ability actually enhances that by 5%. So you'll be dealing 25% more skill damage and 5% more uh, damage to tanks. And her last ability, uh, the, like the fourth skill, it gives you 40% more tank destroyer attack increase when your health is above 70%, which is pretty solid. However, it reduces the tank destroyer defense by 10%. So this one is a bit tricky. If a bit is a bit tricky over here, because you're increasing your attack, but you're reducing your defense by 10%. And we're going to talk about this right now. And the last one is when you awaken her, when she casts her active skill, what happens is that you'll be gaining 50% more counter attack damage for two rounds after the release of her skill. So this is a pretty phenomenal skill as well. Now, why do I advise on actually investing in Lilith? Because the only way to obtain Lilith is actually by the lucky wheel. So the only way to actually get her first 10 badges, if you play the lucky wheel, which spawns like in about, like she she is the first officer to be in the, in the lucky wheel rotation. And then afterwards you will have Lubna, and then afterwards you will have Natalia after 130 days, as you can see over here. So right now we are currently having Lubna in the rotation. However, we had Lilith for about three to four times, I believe. I think four times it was in the Lucky Wheel rotation. I do highly recommend investing in her and spending uh, some gold on the Lucky Wheel when she spawns because she is a pretty phenomenal officer. Now for the skill um, prioritization, I would go for the first skill. And then I would go for the second skill. Afterwards, I would actually go for the fourth skill over here and then the third skill. Now, this is because of the fact that, uh, I mean, it highly depends, like this, this highly depends on how many uh, legendary badges you're gonna actually invest in her. Now, if you think that you could invest all the way so that you can actually max out the fourth skill, then I would recommend the fourth skill before having the third skill, because the fourth skill actually does huge amounts of damage. I understand that it reduces the defense by 10%, but you're dealing 30, like 40 plus damage uh, to your attacks until your health drops below 7, 70%. But in that time, you would have dealt so much damage that the enemy troops have to retreat because you're just dealing so much damage. <laughs> However, 
This one is pretty good as well, and I do recommend it for the longer sustainability of the battle, so this one would deal more damage throughout the battle. But if you're using her as, like, a run and go, like a hit and go, you know? So if you're hitting, and then you're going back, so you're hitting your skill, then going back, and then hitting your skill, and then hiding in a base or whatever, then I would recommend definitely this one over here. However, Tyla depends on your style. So my style was actually hitting and then going back because there were so many people in um, in my zone that already unlocked tier 5s and they are just much stronger in terms of power level. Now, in order to match them, I had to actually hit, them, hit their troops and then go back and this is why I actually upgraded this skill first. However, for longer sustainability, for example, for raiders or many different events, I would definitely recommend going for first one, second one, third one, and then fourth one in this specific sequence. And then uh, when you awaken her, you will have that sweet buff of giving you 50% counter attack for two rounds when you activate your active skill. Now for talents, I would definitely go ahead and go all the way to swoop down to get that sweet uh, like rage plus uh, generation. Over, uh, over when you're attacking with your normal attacks, and then go for Burning Rage to give that extra rage when you uh, when you actually uh, like hit a normal attack, and you'll have a 10% chance to actually recover 80 rage, which is pretty cool as well. Once you do that, immediately go ahead and go for the Burning Rage as well over here. You would be then casting your skill, your active skill, so frequently, it's gonna be crazy. And then max it out all the way to Anti-Tank Mastery over here, focusing on the attack increase over here or the health. So both of these are actually good because health gives you more sustainability and makes you, like, it would take more time to actually drop your health below 70%, so you'd be naturally dealing more damage from your skills, or you can just go for the skills and you'll be dealing more damage throughout the fight, uh, whatever your health is at. And then afterwards, I would definitely go ahead and move down the skill tree all the way to uh, Tactical Assault over here. Now, it's very important to notice that there's a jungler tree over here, and Lilith can be actually played as a jungler, however, I don't recommend that because of the fact that she doesn't have a single skill that contributes to attacking invaders or NPCs, therefore, I would definitely not recommend going for the jungler tree, I would, however, go for uh, the anti-tank and skill tree in the sequence that I just showed you guys, because that's very important. So, for her... Um, like general outfits over here, you have the Western Detective, pretty cool outfit over here for her, and then you have the Pigtails Killer, which is a, uh, a theme, a themed from uh, Harley from Suicide Squad, I do believe. Uh, it gives you a global bonus to tank for 4%. I'm not sure why is it a global bonus for tanks, it should be anti-tanks because it wouldn't make sense otherwise. However, hey, uh, that's pretty cool as well, like 4% attack uh, for tanks is always pretty cool. Now, for her uh, training, when you train her to maximum, you'll be dealing 24% uh, more damage or half 24% advantage over tanks, which is pretty solid and I highly recommend doing that because I've been slaying those tank um, marches, even if they are so much stronger than I am, but I've been slaying them in the battlefield and it's actually been so cool. Uh, so far. Now for pairings, I always like to pair her with other tank, uh, anti-tanks uh, officers that actually offer a burst damage uh, as well. So that would be Maria over here, as you can see. I have her fully maxed out as well. It's a magnificent pairing with Lilith. I highly recommend pairing these two together for maximum amounts of damage. Now Lilith as well can be actually paired with Jessica over here to maximize their pairings of skills. Now, Jessica actually offers a more sustainability defensive style of gameplay, so that would actually add and benefit uh, Lilith in terms of rate generation and increasing the defense of tank destroyers. So these are a pretty solid pair that I would highly recommend you guys pairing them together. Now, if you can see over here, now this what this skill does is actually when your HP drops below 60%, you would be dealing 40% more active skill damage and increasing your speed by 10%, which I think is pretty solid and fits perfectly to the uh, skill that Lilith has, which, uh, which can actually pair them together. And when your HP drops below 60%, you would be losing the buff that is... Uh, 
the, this buff over here on the Wrath, and you'll be gaining this buff over here, which I think is a phenomenal combination because of the fact that you'll be still dealing consistent damage throughout the fight, no matter what uh, HP you are currently in. And this is where basically uh, the fun begins with, uh, with these two pairings over here. Now for other pairings, um, Honestly, these are the best pairings for these two over here. I've tried pairing Lilith with multiple other uh, troops or uh, multiple other officers. Uh, it hasn't been super effective, to be honest with you guys, so I wouldn't recommend pairing her with uh, any other officer. Definitely Maria is a free-to-play choice player, and she is a phenomenal officer that I do believe that uh, if you are a free-to-play player and you wanted to invest in a legendary officer, and if you have chosen to invest in Lilith, so I would definitely pair her with Maria for maximum value or pair her with Jessica if you have Jessica as well uh, in sort of this level or Awakened as well. I think that is a phenomenal pairing too. So this was it for uh, today's video. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for yesterday, I couldn't upload. I was actually very sick. However, for tomorrow, we're gonna actually be doing a live stream about traders. Now this live stream, is gonna be at 21 UTC tomorrow. So it's gonna be 21 UTC Saturday. We're gonna do a live stream about Raiders. We're gonna do a full run. We're gonna explain the strategy, go through all the details that you guys want to know. And we're gonna as well upload a video before that. So you guys would enjoy two videos, like one video and a live stream tomorrow. So it will be like a very, uh, a very long day and a very nice, uh, full of nice events and videos. So if you guys wanna tune into that, make sure you do, as we'll be distributing some rewards as well, in addition to uh, many, many things that will happen over there. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.